Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Foxtech YouTube channel. Foxtech is a place or a brand which has been updating you with tutorials for literally years. And the topic for this video is how you can move a keyboard on the iPad. Now let me just open up the Notes app so I can type something in. I'm gonna click on that and I can see a keyboard which shows up on the half of the screen and literally covers everything. Now if I wanna move it around, all I have to do is just to pinch on the screen like this. You can see, you can pinch it and a smaller screen is gonna show up. And as you can see, it has some kind of handle at the bottom. So when I grab the handle like this, I can move the keyboard around the iPad screen, decide that let's say I'm gonna put it on the right side, use my iPad and hold it in the right hand and use my thumb to type something in. So that's an option how you can basically go ahead and use the keyboard in the floating state, as Apple calls it, and move it around. By the way, guys, if you wanna know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is gonna be the All Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's gonna explain every single app on your iPhone. It's gonna be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. If you when I go back to the previous mode, the large one, just pinch it the other direction. And that's how you can back to the, you will come back to the original keyboard. However, if you don't like the gestures at the bottom, you have also the button to make the keyboard disappear. When you click it, it makes the keyboard go away. However, if you hold down on it, you have the option to change it to floating. And by that, you can get to the same section, but without using and performing any gestures. So that's, that's really good. However, back in the day, on older iPads, I remember making a video literally like three years ago where I showed you how you can split the keyboard in the middle and how, how you can move it up and down. This is no longer possible. This doesn't work anymore on the iPad. It used to be a feature on the older ones for some reason, but the iPad Pro simply doesn't support it. The new iPads don't allow you to split the keyboard in the middle, move it up and down in the screen. It just doesn't work that way. You can also see that this is the only way because when you hold down on it, the floating is the only option that shows up. On the different iPads, on the older ones covered in my previous videos, when I held down on this, I was presented with more options other than floating. The other one was, for example, an option to split it in the middle. So I could use it like that with two hands. Unfortunately, this doesn't work. However, if you don't like the way how you use your keyboard on the iPad, you still have the option to download a third-party keyboard, which I believe should have more options. Popular options include SwiftKey from Microsoft or Gboard from Google. These are the most popular on the iPhones, but they're, of course, many different keyboards which you can go ahead and purchase or download for free on the iPad from the App Store. So it works very easily. You can find out that uh, some apps perhaps allow you like more features in terms of the keyboard. So it's up to you to decide what you want to use, but just know that the options are there available on the App Store. So I'm going to wrap up this video right now. I hope I explained everything to you properly. In case I did and you found this video useful, Make sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a like on this video and subscribe down below by clicking on the subscribe button and you never miss future videos like this one. Thanks all for watching. See you guys later.